here we are approaching the city center of Oxford from the east. We're on Hollywell Street. On our right hand side is the site of Wadham College and on our left hand side will emerge in just a moment the old Bodleian Library and the center of campus. Right now we're at the intersection of Hollywell Street and on our right hand side is the Weston Library. On our left hand side that Parliament building is the Clarendon building which is the original home of the Oxford University Press. We've just passed the Sheldonian Theatre on our left hand side and on our right hand side at that small little building with green shutters is Blackwell's the University Bookshop. On our left hand side is the Museum of History of Science and now Exeter College. And on our right hand side, that building with the tower, is Balliol College next door to Trinity College. Now we'll make a left turn right here and we'll be going south toward the city center again, past the Trill Street Kitchen, past the main entrance to Exeter College on the left hand side, and the main entrance to Jesus College on the right hand side. And now we turn down Brazenose Lane, which leads between Brazenose College and Exeter College again on our left hand side. And now we're going further into the main center of campus. In just a moment, we'll emerge the beautiful Radcliffe camera built around 1714 by Nicholas Hawksmore. And straight ahead of that building right there is All Souls College, which is on the other side of the Radcliffe camera. Here's the Radcliffe camera. Now we're facing south. Straight ahead of us is the University Church of St. Mary the Virgin, which is not the city church of Oxford, but belongs to the university. It was used for university events such as graduation, insignia, various other ceremonies before the construction of the Sheldonian Theatre, which we just saw, and that was in 1666. Straight ahead, that building right there is the chapel of All Souls College. And now we're going to turn right here, and now we're facing back north, again toward the Radcliffe camera, which was, which is currently the history faculty, but was originally the faculty for the storing of science books. Up ahead, on the left-hand side, is the old Bodleian Library, built in the 1500s, early 1600s. Um, still used as a library, of course, although most of the books at Oxford have been moved off-site, largely to Swindon nearby. On the right-hand side is the main entrance to Hertford College, and on the left-hand side, through that portal, is the, the main courtyard of the old schools. Now we're back, facing toward the Sheldonian on our left, Clarendon on our right, and here we make a right turn, and now we're facing east, going down New College Lane, up, and that's the Bridge of Sighs in Oxford. Straight ahead, straight ahead we'll, we'll be making another right-hand turn. Here are a few students dressed for their exams. I took this video in uh, early, early June, so students are about graduating. Now we're heading down New College Lane again. Making another left turn right here. Straight up ahead is the original main entrance to New College built in the 1200s, 1300s. And here we are on the right hand side is the back wall of All Souls College. You can't just make it out now, but it's a beautiful set of towers behind that wall. On our left hand side is still New College. And on our right hand side is the back wall of Queen's College with a library which we are just passing. And here are these, uh, the rear dorms of Queen's College on our right hand side. Those were built by Sir Christopher Wren. Make a right turn right here and up ahead at the end of the street, still new college on our right hand side, but at the end of the street we'll be at the High Street which is the main street running through Oxford in the east-west direction. The center of High Street leads to Corn Market, and Corn, the intersection of Corn Market and High Streets 
is the very center of Oxford. Now we're going to make a left-hand turn, still facing, still facing eastwards. Uh, on our right-hand side is the examination schools, where students take their exams every year. And next to the examination schools, that building with three gables, is the Ruskin School of Art. And up ahead, at the end of this street, is the Chapel of Maudlin College. We're going to make a quick turn right here onto Merton Street. The back quad of the examination schools is still on our right-hand side. And straight ahead of us, behind that uh, stone wall, is the main gardens, the quad of Christ Church. We're going to make a right turn here, and we'll be on the main section of Merton Street. The road gets quite bumpy right here. Usually this is the part of the street where students exit after taking their final exams, and the street is often quite littered with garbage, with uh, shaving cream, with the various events uh, where students trash each other or uh, destroy each other's clothing after each uh, set of final exams. On our right hand side is the library, formerly the warden's lodging of Merton College, and on our left hand side is the main stretch of Merton College built around 1243. we are, the main entrance to Merton College, just on the left, just there, with the Porter's Lodge, and here we are on the left-hand side again. That's the chapel of Merton College on the left-hand side. Coming up on the right-hand side is Oriole College, that's the chapel and the dining hall behind that wall. And on our left-hand side, that building, with the large, large window, that is Corpus Christi College. And straight ahead, that arch right there, where the taxi is approaching, that is the back rear Peckwater Quad, belonging to Christ Church College. Straight ahead, that steeple is the University Church of St. Mary the Virgin. Right now, we'll make a quick left, and we'll be going down toward the Bear Inn, which is one of the oldest pubs in Oxford. Here we are on the left-hand side. This is on Bear Lane. The on the left-hand side is the Peckwater Quad of Christchurch College. Straight ahead, that little building is called the Bear Inn. We have a beautiful, beautiful little uh, parlor inside. A very crimped, very crowded, kind of a medieval kind of construction. On the left-hand side is still Christchurch College, still one of, one of the largest uh, colleges, at least in terms of the number of buildings. And on our right-hand side is the City Hall of Oxford, not belonging to the university, but to the county and the city of Oxford. Straight ahead at the end right here is the continuation of Corn Market Street. If we were to turn left, we'd be approaching the main entrance of Christ Church, but we will be turning right and going up this slight little hill right here and up ahead Behind that red bus is the intersection of Corn Market Street, which we are on, with the High Street, and that's the very center of Oxford. It's a small town, small town. On our left-hand side, just out of the frame, is Carfax Tower, which marks the historic center of Oxford. All students at the university are required to live within five miles of, of this intersection. Now we're on Corn Market Street, which is usually very, very busy um, at all times of year. Traffic here gets quite slow, particularly if I'm on my bike. Behind that row of buildings on the right-hand side is the Covered Market which was built in the 1890s, 1880s, as one of the markets of Oxford. And up ahead, which we'll see in just a moment, is um, 
the currently the Prada Manger, but formerly a beautiful medieval structure built in the 13-1400s as a merchant's house and store, store on the first floor. It's right next to the Burger King right there. It's that medieval structure. It's one of the oldest non-university structures in Oxford. And then again on the right hand side is the Church of St. Michael's, a Norman era construction, so nearly a thousand years old. Up ahead, we're approaching the intersection of Corn Market Street and Broad Street, just behind that red stoplight. And this is Maudlin Street right up here behind that bus. We will be going down Maudlin Street and just in a moment after we pass the Church of St. Mary Maudlin on the right hand side with a beautiful little clock tower we will emerge the Ashmolean Museum. On the right hand side behind those trees is St. John's and Balliol Colleges, one of two of the 38 constituent colleges of the University of Oxford. And here it is, that building is the, on the right hand side, that one right there, is the foreign language library. And here, next to that, is the main entrance to the Ashmolean Museum of Art. On our left hand side, that building with the blue banner, that's the Oxford Theatre. And straight up ahead on the very end of the road, that little building nestled between the two trees is Worcester College. Here we'll make a right turn, avoiding the dump truck, trying to not get stuck in there. And here is the Sackler Library of Art History on the right hand side. And up ahead, we have these beautiful uh, late 17, early 1800s Georgian buildings, very similar to those found in the nearby city of Bath. Up ahead, those trees, that's part of Ruley Square. Now we're moving north, we're entering the northern part of the city center of Oxford. And right here, we'll be making a turn onto Pusey Street, so named after Pusey House, which is that building on the right-hand side. It was built in the mid-1800s as at one of the colleges of Oxford for the training of Anglican ministers. And that's the chapel of Pusey House. Up ahead, we're back on the main thoroughfare of Oxford. This is the northern approach to the city center. St. Giles Street up, and right there is the main entrance to St. John's on the right-hand side. That's one of the wealthiest uh, colleges at Oxford. The endowment is about 500 million pounds. So we'll cross the busy street, and in just a moment, we'll be going into one of the side alleys that lead off from this main street. Here is the lamb and flag. A little bit like the Bear, one of the very old pubs in Oxford. And here is the Layman Flag Passage, which leads from here, leads uh, eastwards, past Keeble College, toward the Museum, University Museum of Natural History. On the right-hand side is still a St. John's College, and on the left-hand side will be Keeble College. Here we are, the street widens in just a little bit. And on the left hand side, that's the library of Keeble College, a very fortress-like structure. Keeble College is important as one of the first Oxford colleges, one of the newer Oxford colleges to be built entirely brick. And here we are, we're approaching the science quarter of the University of Oxford. Up ahead, this beautiful building right here is the Museum of Natural History, 
which is behind the Museum of Natural History, is the Pitt Rivers Museum of Ethnography. Up and on the right hand side, that's the former home of the former home of the Oxford Union and currently the Library of Science. Up ahead, uh, behind that building, is the University Physics Department. And up ahead, that red brick building is the main entrance to Keeble College, which is in a kind of a typical Victorian structure with lots of color, colored or polychrome, polychrome brickwork. Now we're, we're heading back south. If we were to continue on the street, we would, we would be back in the city center, but we aren't going to go straight. We are going to turn left and head eastwards. And on the right hand side is the famous Rhodes House, built as the home of the Rhodes Scholarship, which offers all expenses paid postgraduate study for anyone accepted by competition, of course. And there we go, on the right hand side is the American and the Oriental Institute Studies Library. On the left hand side is still the Science Quarter. Right now we're, pro we're passing the Geography Department, the Psychology Department. On the right hand side that glass building contains many of the university labs. And now we're going to head back south down Mansfield Road. We're going to make a right, right over here. And now we're going back south. On our right hand side, that building from the mid 1800s is Mansfield College. And on our left hand side will be some of the university sports facilities. Each college has its own sports field, or almost all the colleges. Oh, and that's the main entrance to Mansfield College. Now we're approaching the city center again. Up ahead at the very, very end of the street, you can just about make it out, is the rear quad, the rear wall of New College. And here, that's, I believe, Harris Manchester College. And up ahead, at the end of the road, you can see the main entrance to New College. Right now, on the left-hand side, with that bike, where that bike is turning, is um, one of the little side streets that leads towards St. Catherine's College. It's and now we're going to make a right-hand turn past New College. And now we're back on Hollybell Street, where we began this tour. Many of the, many, almost all the buildings on the street are owned by the various colleges, such, such as Merton and New College and Wadham College. They are no longer private residences. And up ahead, we'll be back at the intersection of Hollywell Street and Broad Street, where we begin our tour.